I'd like to briefly describe the idea of neuronal tuning and illustrate it with a few examples. These days we can record activity from thousands of neurons using techniques like calcium imaging or using multi-electrode arrays. But making sense of all this data typically begins by looking at neuronal tuning. Typically, we record neural activity while an animal or person is interacting with its environment, and we would like to know what the neurons are doing during these interactions. The idea of neuronal tuning is that each neuron is only sensitive to certain features of the environment or the interaction. This idea can be traced back to Helmholtz, who in the late 19th century suggested that auditory nerve fibers carry information only about a specific narrow range of sound frequencies, so they are tuned to particular sound frequency. This is very similar to a radio tuned to a particular station, only being sensitive to certain narrow band of radio frequencies. I think one of the coolest examples of neuronal tuning comes from the place cells. These are typically found in the hippocampus, and these are the neurons that increase their activity when a person or an animal is located at a particular place or passes through a certain place. You can see here a rat runs around a room and a particular neuron we are looking at increases its activity in the bottom right corner. So it is selective to that particular location. We can illustrate the tuning of this place cell by showing a heat map where we plot the activity of neuron at each location of the room. And you can see that this heat map has only one bright spot. This is where the neuron is most active, so it is tuned to that location. Another good example of neuronal tuning comes from the primary visual cortex. This region of the brain is one of the first to process visual information. There are neurons in this region that are tuned to visual features that look like edges of objects. Interestingly, these edges must have a specific orientation for the neurons to respond. For example, let's imagine that this piece of paper covers your visual field. So this piece of paper is all you can see. A typical primary visual cortex neuron would receive information only from a small area of the total visual field, let's say this area. For a neuron to respond, there must be some contrast difference within that area. For example, an edge of certain orientation. This may be an edge of an object, for example, an apple. Let's say that this neuron is responsive to edges of 90 degrees. So in this case, if an apple is located like this, this neuron would be active. Now, if we have the same neuron, but an apple has a different location, let's say here, this neuron no longer sees a vertical edge, but it sees a horizontal edge. Now this neuron would not respond. This neuron has orientation selectivity. It is tuned to vertical edges. We can show this by plotting tuning curve. On the y-axis we can plot activity of neuron, and on the x-axis we can show edges of different orientations. So for example, this is edge with vertical orientation, this is edge with horizontal, and in between there are edges oriented at 45 degrees. This neuron responds strongly to vertical edges, so it's tuned to them. So its tuning curve would look as follows. It's most active when edges are vertical and it's not so active otherwise. Other neurons may be tuned to different orientations. For example, there may be neurons that are tuned to edges they have orientation of 45 degrees, their tuning curve would look like this, for example. If we go back to the hippocampus, there are neurons in the human hippocampus that respond strongly 
to particular people. Famously, a neuron of one person responded strongly to different pictures of actress Jennifer Aniston, so it was tuned to Jennifer Aniston. Interestingly, such neurons not only respond to pictures, but also to names, for example, if one reads or hears the name. So these neurons seem to be selective to particular people, independently of whether one sees them or hears their name. I sometimes heard people referring to such neurons as feature detectors. Yes, if a neuron is tuned to a particular feature, like an edge of certain orientation, one can call this neuron a feature detector, for example, an edge detector. This supposes, however, that the brain uses these tuned neurons to detect particular features, like edges. And while most people agree that this is indeed the case, for the early visual processing with edge detectors, it may not be the case for neurons with more complex tuning, like famous actresses.